Hi there, and welcome to the second part of a series where you will be using the new Unity 5 to make a simple game. In this episode, we will be looking at scenes and game objects. So let's begin. Okay, in Unity, a screen can be considered as a scene. So you can have multiple scenes or just a single scene depending on your preference. So think of a scene as a movie scene. When you are watching a movie, okay, there is a scene. Okay, there is a scene in a movie. So in this scene, maybe there is a venue, a place, maybe it's at the fountain, and maybe there are two actors or actresses in it. Okay, but the important thing to remember is that Okay, you can think of a scene as a movie scene. So that means you can add things like characters to this scene. Okay, of course that also depends on your preference and what you are trying to make in Unity as well. So with that in mind, let's move on to game objects. Okay, so everything in Unity can be considered as a game object. So try to think of a game object as a building block of a game. So for example, if okay, an object is made out of atoms, okay, if this rock is made out of small little atoms tiny building blocks of a solid okay a game in unity is made out of game objects which is why you can create game objects in unity okay depending on your preference as well so we have covered scenes and we have covered game objects but how do we actually relate them relate to them when we are in the unity 5 game editor okay so let's go back to the unity 5 game editor and this is where we left off from the previous episode so to begin Okay, let's go to our project directory and create a new folder called scenes. Okay, remember how we mentioned just now that you can have multiple scenes if you choose to do that. So we are going to save this scene as the main scene in our scenes folder so let's go to our scenes folder and save this scene this empty scene as main scene so for a game in unity you can choose to have multiple scenes and change between them depending on where you are in the game but you can also have just one single scene which is what we are going to do so save the main scene okay and you will find the scenes folder now have a main scene so now that we have saved our 
new scene. Okay, it's time to create our first game object. So go to the game object menu here, click on it and create empty. Okay, once you have done that, an empty game object will be created for you in Unity 5 and it will appear over here in the hierarchy list where it shows you the game objects of the current scene. Okay, so we have created our first scene and save it. And we have also created our first game object, our first empty game object, which we can use it for a lot of things that will come in the future episodes. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be looking at how to save information that a game needs to know, things such as maybe a score for your player, how many enemies are in the current stage, and maybe if your character has health. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Okay, to start, okay, go to unity3d.com and download the Unity 5 game engine.